Uh, hello friends, my name is Hamid. Today I am working on this Electrolux washing machine. It's a front load. The customer's complaint is that E11 is flashing on the display and the unit, uh, none of the buttons are working. They can turn it on and off, but the drain pump will still keep running and running and running, never stops. They try to unplug it. The customer tried to reset it. They used different, different methods to reset the control board on it to make it work, but it didn't. All of this happened because the customer got a little bit of water leakage from the bottom corner. And after that, he doesn't know what happened, what caused all of these issues. So when you get E11 error code and it never stops, it, you plug it in or if it's plugged in and the drain pump keeps running and running and you have the E11 error code, that that's caused by the over soap. If you use too much soap on these washing machines, it will cause that error code and that problem. Uh, or if you're really overloading it, these two things can cause this issue. Worst case, if you get problem with the control board or if you, or if you have power surge in the house, it will also cause the same issue. So today I was able to uh, repair this uh, without any uh, replacement of any parts. I was able to reset this washer and I will show you quickly how to reset this washer. The problem is already fixed, but as I explained to you that E15, sorry, E11 was flashing on the display and the drain pump was keep running and running. At first, I thought maybe the control board located right here was the problem, but uh, that was not the problem. I was able to reset this and I'll show you how to do this. Thank you. First of all, I'm gonna show you the model number here. This is the model and serial number. And in order to find the error codes, diagnostic and everything, you have to open the top lid. The lid is, that's the lid that's by, uh, held by two um, Robertson screws. These are the screws with Robertson drill bit. I pull it out from the back. And this is the tech sheet that's uh, usually located at the back of the, on the top of the machine. It goes in this position and that position. You peel it off. And from here, you, you can run diagnostic. You do not have to go through diagnostic to do this repair. But I will show you the mm, 11 error code. See, the 11 error code is drain pump and a spin drain pump motor. Oh, so that's the diagnostic. And I'm going to show you the error code here. Error code, filling time too long. If you get problem with the water valve, if it's not filling on time, it's very slow fill. You got calcium buildup. If you have to open these hoses, you, you may see calcium, especially if you're living outside of the city, the water is hard, you always have calcium. But this customer is inside of the city, I do not think that's the case. You can always open it, double check it for your uh, own comfortability, but I wouldn't. So because I know I, I work in this city for the last 15 years and I know how the water is. Um, so these are all the error codes and you can reset it, do all kind of things, demo mode. Uh, you can enter demo mode or recalls or anything. Uh, I'm just showing this E11 error code to show you that it it need, it means fill time too long. At this moment, I'm going to ignore this because my problem was completely unrelated to this. And when the unit is um, giving you that E11 error code and the drain pump keeps running, what you can do is you have to stick your hand right here. If you can hold, okay. Here, if you can hold this for me, thank you. Okay, so you see that your door lock right there. Um, you you're gonna unplug the unit. When you unplug it, you're gonna press on this button. You see that top, right there. It actually unlocks the door. If you wanna open the door and it ever gets a stuck, it's gonna unlock it. So let me turn it on here. It's filling at this moment, but when I press on top of that button, you will see. Okay, so that opens the door. It didn't open it yet. Okay, so. Thank you. Yeah. Press it again. This unlocks the door. So.
it should unlock but it's not doing that anytime it's not unlocking itself you can just press on this button and then the door opens after the door opens you unplug it plug it back in and then do the same thing if the door opens or not you're trying to press on that button this one and release it you keep doing that until it opens completely if you have water inside of the washer it may not work you, you want to empty the water by vacuuming the hose from there from the back you can vacuum the water from the drain hose and then after that you keep doing the same thing couple of times eventually the unit will open its door and then you would be able to turn off the unit from here and then wait a couple of seconds once the unit is in off position unplug it again plug it back in it's a little bit uh, tricky but you can do this you have to go back and forth do the same thing until you see the door opens and then once you know that the door opens for the last time turn it off unplug it again wait a couple of seconds plug it back again that fixes the whole problem of e15 um, e11 and you you will be able to use your washer